What's up? It's Down the Drain Outdoors here today uh, with Evan McCormick behind the camera. And today we're doing a 22 caliber pellet gun versus 177 caliber gun. So right here, the two models of guns we have is the Benjamin Trail NP all-weather nitro piston, 22 caliber. And then Evan, uh, I don't know the name. You're, Stoger, this is Stoger X5. It's a 177 cal. Now, <clears throat> two extremely different guns to start off with. This one uh, I got this year. Evan's had his for a little while. Uh, mine is the uh, black plastic, I guess, stock. Solid, very solid uh, stock. May I add something? Yes, you can. Uh, they're both uh, 495 Canadian version. 495 yeah, unfortunately, in Canada, we have to get guns licensed if there are 4, 495 feet per second. So these are both 495s. So traveling same speed. Foot pounds are different, though. So again, let me just show the scope here. I have a up to 9 power zoom scope. It's a 3 to 9 by 40 adjustable objective half mil dot reticle scope. Mm -hmm. And then Evans here is a 4 power scope, I believe. Yeah, it's just a center point 4 by 32 scope. It doesn't have any focus or anything. Both very good scopes, though. Uh, mine's pretty junky, but... Mm. Anyways, so again, mine is the 22 caliber here. So, both standard brake barrel, just like this. Uh, one advantage to Evans is for target practice, he does have the nice open sights here, as you can see, uh, mm -hmm. with the, I don't know what you call that. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a, a little guard here for mm -hmm. the front open sights, and they're both true glow fiber optic sights, mm -hmm. but there is a disadvantage, uh, because this scope, it was, wasn't a bundled scope, I purchased, purchased it separately, just because I, I really wanted a scope for my pellet gun, and, um, anyways, with these rings, they're really low rings, so if you're gonna get this gun, uh, you're, if you, uh, I don't know if you can get the scope through there, but you can see that there's the, uh, it's, yeah, you can see, you can see the uh, red dot out there. Yeah, you can actually see the iron sights through now through the scope. Yeah, now with my gun, there is unfortunately no open sights. Uh, I've personally never shot it with trying, even attempting with open sights. Uh, you got the, uh, I don't know what you'd pick call it. Picatinny. Yeah, Picatinny rail. Uh, well done on so that's pretty nice scope doesn't move at all very solid uh i had the nice wider i don't even know why it's they... this is it's a shroud and there is some baffles in here uh here i'll unfortunately have to dry fry it here just to show you no, different... don't dry fire it's not good i'm sorry it's just it's not i don't have any pellets on i'm just gonna shoot it uh it is quite quiet even when dry firing unfortunately i hate doing this but you hate if you yeah. if you hated it you i know just I don't, loaded a pellet what, and what? shot it outside anyway sorry <laughs> Sorry about my. Um, now, okay, let me compare the safeties on the guns here. The uh, 22 caliber safety is right here on the trigger itself, so it's really easy. You can just, if you're shooting, you just flick it forward. There's not even a need to, uh, like, uh, move your thumb, so it's good. Uh, on this one, still very good safety, but it is up here, which still is pretty good because your thumb's still up here, so you just flick that in. Personally, my personal preference is I prefer... This is an automatic safety on my uh, Stoger here. Uh, it's an automatic safety, so co whenever you cock the gun, it uh, it puts the safety on. You, yeah. Uh, but I kind of prefer uh, safety outside of the trigger guard because there is no risk of running into accidentally firing your gun. But it's it's a low chance. Uh, but uh, it's all personal preference. They no. both work good. Evan's gun here, I what I really like about it is it has a nice wooden stock. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but I, I just personally, I prefer this kind of stock over a hard plastic. I think it gives the gun more character. Uh, nice carving into here. I don't know if you can see it in the shitty light, but nice carving into here. It and is. Then, it's not a very high quality finish on the stock, so it... Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah you, can, of... you can see there's chips here, but again, Evan, you've had this gun for about three years. Three years now. Um... Yeah, that's... Here, I'll quickly do a size comparison here, if you can get up and show. I'll overlap the guns. So, my stock is a little bit longer. I'm lining them up perfectly here. My stock is a bit longer. But Backs are pretty this, much similar. Seeing how this is a caliber comparison, not a gun comparison. Sure, true. Uh, 177 definitely is a lot better for plinking. And to much... Let, let me... Uh, Put emphasis on much more accurate. He can well. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's not that. It's 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 just the um the gun and the triggers. All true, but I know when we go hunting squirrels and grouse, 
he's the one who's getting headshots all the time and neck shots, so. My trigger on this gun is, let's be honest, it's garbage. <laughs> Everything about the gun is incredible. Triggers just horrible. You gotta pull so far back. Yeah. I, the first stage is just, it's just yeah. long. Evan almost has like a nice feather trigger here, but it's, it's still very good. Um, other than that, foot pounds of energy, Evan knows what's up with that, so I'll let him. Okay, so, my gun, uh, which is the 177 caliber X5, has around, I don't know, three foot pounds of energy. It's a really weak gun, but, uh, so it's not ideal for hunting at all. You have to get perfect headshots or else you're not going to kill the animal. Um... This one, seeing how it is a 22 caliber, it uh, has a lot more foot pounds. I don't exactly know how many foot pounds it has, but um, it it does have quite a bit more. Now energy. let me let me say, both these guns remember they're shooting at the same speed, so both of us we can take shots from 50 yards and we'll be hitting at the same distance. So my gun, it I'm not very good at sighting any guns, so I was messing around with the sights and I screwed it up. So. We just set up some farther targets. We might make a video on it, but his gun, he can. I think he knows his gun better personally. Um, but yeah, both have uh, rubber stocks back here. It, it's kind of not needed, but it's nice because it does. It uh, lets the back of the gun. It doesn't slip out of your shoulder when okay. you're shouldering the rifle. Now, if this is this video is dragging on, but if you're doing small game comparison here, right? One seventy-seven versus twenty-two. You're going to pick the 22 because more foot pounds of energy, you're going to drop the thing. But if you're good with the Pelican and you have experience with Pelicans, go for the 177. You can get headshots. Personally, they're cheaper guns. I got this one for, it was on sale, so I got it for 225. But you said you got it for like 150 bucks. Oh, no, I got it 125 because usual, usual uh, 350, great deal. Down at the Canadian Tire. Evan, he got his for 160 It was $130, $130. just for the gun. And the scope was fifty dollars. Um, so if you yeah. know how to shoot, you have experience. One seventy-seven is your way to go. If you're looking to take out some bigger game, like Evan shot grouse with this. He shot squirrels. You shot ra you shot rabbits with it. Right? Yeah, I've shot two rabbits. Yeah, I've shot one rabbit with this. Like countless squirrels. Countless, countless squirrels. Um, like still, this thing you there's not a huge difference. You can hit a squirrel with this, and it can still brush it off and run away. Same with this. Like, if you know how to shoot, you're going to kill varmints either way. So, honestly, by my personal opinion, I'd stick with the 177. I've had nah. one. My, I personally, so I we, would. We, we agree to disagree, but, <laughs> which is weird, because I own the uh, Benjamin, but Evans owns the uh, Stoger, so. Lighter gun, too. Let, let me mention quick. This is an eight pound gun, very heavy. Like if I hold it like this, my arm starts shaking within like a minute, even less. This gun's like five pounds. This gun, you can hold it one handed out and you don't get shaky. Well, yeah. I get shaky, but. Well, yeah, you get shaky, but you can hold it one armed. <laughs> Anyways guys, so if you're looking to buy an Appella gun, let us know what your personal thoughts are down in the comments. But other than that, that's pretty much the video. Check out Evan McCormick's channel. He has a video of him shooting his Stoger at 50 yards. It's pretty sweet to show you the actual power of these guns. Uh, anyways, guys, that's the video. Uh, check down in the description. I'll try to put Evan McCormick, Evan, Evan's channel down in the description. So, great. Thanks for watching, guys.